So the next time somebody tells you that it is pointless to defend those rights that we hold dear, remind them of your vigil in the dark before the Embassy of Ecuador. Remind them how, in the morning, the sun came up on a different world and a courageous Latin American nation took a stand for justice. And so to those brave people, I thank President Correa for the courage he has shown in considering and in granting me political asylum. And I also thank the government and in particular Foreign Minister Ricardo Patino who upheld the Ecuadorian constitution and its notion of universal citizenship in their consideration of my asylum. And to the Ecuadorian people for supporting and defending this constitution. And I also have a debt of gratitude to the staff of this embassy whose families live in London and who have shown me hospitality and kindness despite the threats we all received. This, this Friday there will be an emergency meeting of the foreign ministers of Latin America in Washington DC to address this very situation. And so I am grateful to those people and governments of Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, El Salvador, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Argentina, Peru, Venezuela and to all other Latin American countries who have come out to defend the right to asylum. And to the people of the United States, the United Kingdom, Sweden and Australia who have supported me in strength even when their governments have not. And to those wiser heads in government who are still fighting for justice, your day will come. To the staff, supporters and sources of WikiLeaks whose courage and commitment and loyalty has seen no equal. To my family and to my children who have been denied their father, forgive me, we will be reunited soon. <laughs>